Our ancestors knew this well. The movements of the sun, the moon, and the stars could be used by those skilled in such arts to foretell the seasons. So the ancient astronomers all over the world studied the night sky with care, memorizing and recording the position of every visible star. To them, the appearance of any new star would have been significant. What would they have made of the apparition of a supernova, brighter than every other star in the sky? On July 4th, in the year 1054, Chinese astronomers recorded what they called a guest star in the constellation of Taurus the Bull. A star never before seen burst into radiance, uh, became almost as bright as the full moon. Halfway around the world, here in the American Southwest, there was then a high culture rich in astronomical tradition. They too must have seen this brilliant new star. From carbon-14 dating of the remains of a charcoal fire, we know that in this very spot, there were people living in the 11th century. The people were the Anasazi, the antecedents of the Hopi of today. One of them seems to have drawn on this overhang, protected from the weather, a picture of the new star. Its position near the crescent moon would have been just what we see here. And the handprint is perhaps the artist's signature. This remarkable star is now called the crab supernova. Nova from the Latin word for new and crab because that's what an astronomer centuries later was reminded of when looking at this explosion or remnant through the telescope. A crab is a star that blew itself up. The explosion was seen for three months. It was easily visible in broad daylight, and you could read by it at night. Imagine the night when that colossal stellar explosion first burst forth. A thousand years ago, people gazed up in amazement at the brilliant new star and wondered what it was. We are the first generation privileged to know the answer. Through the telescope, we have seen what lies today at the spot in the sky noted by the ancient astronomers, a great luminous cloud, the remains of a star violently unraveling itself back into interstellar space.